It's March 14th, 2015. I feel like absolute horrid hell. And this is your 40 and slip news. And an update to a previous story from TheGuardian.com. Slenderman stabbing. Uh, Wisconsin girls might be tried as adults, Judge says. Uh, two Wisconsin girls accused of repeatedly stabbing a classmate to please an imaginary internet monster named Slenderman uh, must stand trial as adults, a judge ruled on Friday. Uh, Waukesha County Circuit Judge, I still love that word, Waukesha. <laughs> Makes me laugh, I don't know. Uh, Michael Boren spent a month delivering over the evidence provided during a two-day preliminary trial last month before deciding the girls should be charged with first-degree murder in an adult court. Under Wisconsin law, suspects at least 10 years of age must be charged as, a, as adults in severe crimes. Defense lawyers argued that the girls legitimately believed Slenderman was going to harm their fam fam families? Families? Families. Families. I turned Asian there for a second. Wow. If they didn't... Well, is that racist? It could be. If they did, I think it probably is. You I'm might have to apologize tomorrow. Okay, I'll wait till tomorrow to apologize. Uh, I lost my spot now. <laughs> Defense the lawyers families. Families. If they didn't kill the cla their classmate, as a result, they argued the girls should instead be charged with second-degree murder, which can be tried in juvenile court. Uh, the girls and the victims were 12 when the incident took place last year. The suspects face up to 65 years in prison if convicted, the Associated Press reported. Uh, if they are tried in juvenile court, and convicted, they can only be held till they are 25. Uh, Bowen granted requests by the girls' attorneys for hearings to appeal the judge's decision and have the cases moved back to juvenile court. Those hearings will be held in May and June, the AP reported. Prosecutors argued that the girls plotted for months to kill Lutner, a classmate. In May, the girls convinced Lutner to come to their house for a sleepover. The next morning, they lured her into a forest in Waukesha, a Milwaukee suburb where they stabbed her 19 times before fleeing. Uh, police arrested the girls in June as they were attempting to walk to what they believed was Slender Man's ma mansion in a Wisconsin state park. The victim who survived her injuries was eventually found by a bicyclist after she crawled from a wooded area where she said she had been stabbed by the two girls. Yeah, I... Like, I, I've said this many times before about this story on the show it's horrid fucking parenting that winds up you know creating these instances people need to stick their nose in their kids shit and when i was 12 i'm pretty sure i knew that stabbing one of my friends 19 times was not a good idea whether it was saying. to please the um non-existent fictional slender man <laughs> Or not. You ever get the feeling of deja vu, Chris? I, I, I'm a, amazingly enough, today, Steve, I feel like we've done this before. Like I, maybe I 20 minutes ago. <laughs> Our second story from the metro.co.uk. My favorite story, man. I love this story. Bedroom burglar tells victim he's a ghost and should go back to sleep. So he does. The I burglar would. Man, Fucking yeah. this morning I did, Steve. Yes, you did. <laughs> a burglar managed to get away with swiping things from a bedroom after telling the homeowner he was a spirit from beyond the grave. Haleb, <clears throat> this is going to be hard. Haleb Kudrayashov, 26, remembers being awoken at his home in Russia and seeing a man in the room. He asked, who are you? Of course he did. Uh, the crook, Bogdan Denisov, 25, replied, I'm a ghost. Go back to sleep. Amazingly, the young man obliged and dozed off. I would. I, I fucking, <clears throat> hey, if sure. somebody tells me I can get a few more Zs, I'm down, Steve. Yeah, no doubt, man. Some days I'm, I'm like that. In the morning, of course, he discovered his wallet, watch, and mobile phone had been stolen. Detectives later traced the crook when he tried to sell the mobile phone and identified him as a repeat offender, Denisov. Uh, a police spokesman said he was taken to visit the victim who quickly identified the ghost and he was arrested and charged with burglary. Can they even do that? Sure. Charge a, charge a ghost with a crime? Sure, why not? 
But wouldn't he just be like, if you put him in jail, wouldn't he be like able to walk right through the bars and shit? He's not a real he's ghost, a ghost, Steve. He the guy he just a drank a lot of vodka and didn't bother to get up when someone was in his house. <laughs> Uh, and in our final story tonight, uh, this morning, I should say, from Open Minds TV, President Obama admits aliens are real. Chris, he did. On Jimmy Kimmel, no less. Oh, <clears throat> I'm, I'm thrilled. President Obama appeared as a guest on Jimmy Kimmel Live, and just as he had done with President Clinton, Kimmel asked Obama if he had looked into Area 51 and UFOs. Kimmel broached the topic in the same manner he had with Clinton. He told the president that if he was president, the first thing he would do is immediately look into what the government knows about Area 51 and UFOs. And Obama replied, that is why you will not be president. Uh, Kimmel then asked if Obama had looked into, into it. Uh, Obama replied, the aliens won't let it happen. You will reveal all their secrets. Uh, they exercise strict control over us. Kimmel warned Obama that people were going to look at his facial expressions and every move as he answered these questions to analyze what he was saying. Uh, Obama then responded, I can't reveal anything. Uh, Kimmel told the POTUS, P-O-T-U-S, you know what that stands for, Chris? It stands for asshole. <laughs> In this case, you're probably right. <laughs> <laughs> no, it always stands for asshole. <clears throat> well, generally, I believe you. I believe you're right. Uh, Kimmel told the POTUS, or President of the United States, or asshole, Clinton, or yeah, uh, that Clinton has told him he looked into it and he didn't find anything. Uh, to this, Obama responded, "That is uh, that is what we are instructed to say." Uh, that was the extent of the extraterrestrial discussion. However. If you were to read this without watching the video, the conversation would sound somewhat ominous, and I am sure people will take this as a confirmation that aliens are controlling the government. However, Kimmel and Obama were smiling and laughing the whole time. Kimmel certainly felt the president was joking and seemed to find his responses very funny. Yeah, I don't think that Mr. Um, Obama is going to announce aliens on the Jimmy Kimmel show. I'm pretty sure there would be a podium with the presidential seal on it and a room full of press. Well, Jimmy Kimmel's press, right? What, what, what better place? What know? better place? Yeah. yeah. The Jimmy Kimmel show. The guy that <laughs> used to host the fucking man show. Well, he went from hosting the Man Show to interviewing the President of the United States. So, you know, yeah. I think Jimmy Kimmel's full of credibility, and his show should be taken seriously. And I think the President really knows that the aliens are real. And it's just you know disinformation campaign to make a joke about it. You really are fucking gullible, aren't you? That is that is the news, Chris. Is it? We don't have anything else. Yeah, I think so. Oh yeah, there was a chupacabra story, but you know, I was I I, I was talking about the other, the other thing. Oh yes, there is one more thing. Happy birthday to my personal hero, Giorgio Sukolos. Fuck Ancient him! Alien fuck dude. him and his fucking crazy hair. I like his crazy. Hair.